Hi everyone, it's Dr. Keenan and we're here today. It's Wednesday, March 24th. And I'm very happy to be here today with two special guests. So I have uh, Denise Wood and Diane Lauzon with me today and we're gonna be talking everything about exogenous ketones. So many of you um, know that the ketogenic diet can be a very beneficial diet, both for weight loss and for uh, resetting our metabolism. Many people have asked me, what about exogenous ketones? So these are ketone drinks or ketone shakes that you would have. So today we're gonna to hear stories from two individuals that have been using them um, for their health benefits. So um, first we're gonna start with Denise. So um, Denise, thanks for joining us today. And just to, uh, so I just wonder if you could share with us a little bit of your story about how you've made exogenous ketones part of your life. Absolutely. I'm really, really excited to share this actually. Um, okay, I started uh, about three, three years, well, a little over three years ago. Um, I started searching for everything and anything at the time because I was uh, well overweight. I was over 300 pounds and I had tried absolutely everything um, like a lot of people. And um, I was actually setting myself up to have that operation. I remember them um, for their health benefits. Yes, pounds, and I had tried absolutely everything, um, like a lot of people. And I uh, wonder why I'm getting feedback. I think we're good now. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So I had just I had tried everything, and I was going to have the operation. I can never remember what the operation is called there. Um, but I had went through all the steps and I was really desperate anyways. And I was feeling, I was really depressed. Um, I had, um, I, I won't go there <laughs> anyways. I, I was really excited because I thought, you know what, um, this here product, if this here product does, you know, helps me with my weight, fantastic. Cause I thought that's, that was all, all my problems, but so um, it fell in my lab room in January. I was scheduled to have the operation in March. And um, I was really, really excited when about, I'd say a couple days after the drink, um, I won't get into how, uh, how I got and all that there stuff, but um, after the drink, I, I just remember feeling like so alert, like I was wide awake and I wanted to do everything. I had lots of energy. And it had to be the ketones, um, the strength that I had taken. And I noticed a couple of days after I was feeling, still feeling fantastic, but I had dropped about four or five pounds and I hadn't done anything, absolutely nothing. Um, just taking this here drink, ate everything still. And I started losing weight and I thought, wow, this is fantastic. But not only that, but how it made me feel. And if it made me feel that way, I was going to take it regardless of our lost weight, to be honest with you, because I really did feel really good. So I, um, I started just losing weight, like constantly all the time. And I never, honestly, never took the diet, never went on the diet, the ketogenic diet. I just relied on this drink a lot. Um, went off of it, you know, learned a lot of lessons. <laughs> you really know when you go off of it, that's, that's for sure. Um, but anyways, I was a some things happened and I, got, I, I was able to get back onto it again and um, I'm never going to go off of it again. But I've lost um, 106 pounds and within, well, that was about, I'd say, um, about eight months it, it took me to lose 106 pounds. And then I gained a little bit back and I've lost, um, but I've never done the ketogenic diet. Uh, I've only relied on the drink. However, I am starting now um, really seriously taking my health a lot more serious than I ever have. Um, I'm feeling so much better. It's, it's more than just a weight loss. Well, it's not a weight loss product, but it's more than just weight for me. It's been, it's just been life-changing. It's been, it's been everything for me. Um, the benefits are just like, not just the weight loss, but I mean, just like the clarity, um, the mood, 
my better mood. Uh, I'm happier. I'm more excited. I'm, I love life. Um, and yeah, and it's been, and Diane is, um, has got a, a great story as well to share. And uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Well, thanks, Denise, you know, and, uh, you know, we've spoken before because you're from Miramichi, New Brunswick, I guess we didn't say yeah. that. Um, yeah. And, you know, to hear where you were just at that point, it seems like that's the turning for many, you know, when bariatric surgery sometimes seems the only option, mm -hmm. and, but then there can be other options. And it's great that you found this as something that worked for you and it was beyond mm -hmm. the, the weight loss. And uh, I guess Diane will tell us a little bit more too about the mental changes that she noted. So. Absolutely. Awesome. So we've also got Diane Laus on. So Diane is based in Ontario. So welcome today, Diane. Thank you for having me. That's so great. Can you hear me okay? Yes, it's nice and clear. Oh, awesome. Um, so my story is interestingly a little bit different than Denise. Um, and one of the things um, that you may notice over the last five years now that the ketogenic diet has been uh, not only the number one sourced health word on Google over the last five years, um, but I'm sure you have a friend, a family member who is um, either doing the diet, try the diet, um, maybe is, you know, cyclic, cyclic, cycling with the diet. Um, but my story goes back to 2015 and I never heard of ketones. I never heard of the ketogenic diet. Um, and I was not looking for fat loss. So before ketones came into my world and completely shifted my life, I was dealing with a lot of different health challenges identified through my naturopath. So we don't make medical claims around the product, um, but really just sharing, you know, the benefits and how things can unfold when you start to give your body a better fuel source than maybe you were before. So for me, I was 38 years old and I was really dealing with a lot of fatigue, brain fog, lack of mental clarity. Um, my stress was just unmanageable. Uh, so sleep was really, you know, terrifying for me because waking up would be a nightmare. And I was dealing with all of this while on the outside looking in, people would think that I'm, I'm healthy, fit, happy, all of those things. So it's really almost like this invisible, um, this invisible challenge that I was suffering with. And so through my naturopath, um, I had then been identified through my naturopath, through my physical, like my medical um, professional, uh, that I had adrenal burnout. I was dealing with inflammation and I also had um, a leaky gut. And the reasons for all of that was that I was also diagnosed back um, at UBC in Vancouver through my gastroenterologist with um, celiac disease. So not that ketones cures anything, it actually doesn't. However, this was my story. So I didn't know what was going on with me, but I realized after I was working with my naturopath, why I was not feeling well. So I was just living a, a life feeling unwell. And so then um, separate to, to all of that really, and again, you know, it just came into my life exactly when I was looking for something, ketones fell on my lap. And so not the ketogenic diet, but this product um, that had just been launched through the States and a dear friend of mine um, who also works in the health space uh, out in California introduced me to this product. And so I had nothing to lose and I just started to drink the product. I tried, I consumed the product. And so for me, since drinking this ketones um, technology, I felt that my brain fog was lifted. I had more energy. My sleep started to get more sound. So waking up, I was having this zest for life, whereas before I would be crawling out of bed. Um, and then everything just started to change for me. You know, my skin got more clear. My muscle tone came back. I had, again, the energy. Um, I, wasn't really, um, I wasn't really negatively affected by different foods that I had been in the past. So things were starting to run better in my body. And it was really because of my personal experience that my husband and I started to look more into, well, why is that? And so through the, you know, the research and the education that we found through this company uh, that we work with bioidentical ketones, what does that mean? It means that the product that we've been utilizing, both uh, Denise and myself, is bioidentical to the diet, which means that your body recognizes this specific technology to be just like the diet would be, but you don't have to do the diet to get the benefits. So it's truly diet independent. And so for me, that was a game changer um, because I was able to then make changes in my, my lifestyle, not based on uh, restriction, but based on my brain and my body was just running better that I was not searching for those different things that maybe weren't uh, serving me like a pot of coffee in the morning, eating every two hours. I was carb loading all the time. Um, you know, snacking at night because I was always hungry. So once I started to utilize just drinking this drink, 
things started to just run better and I started to feel better and I started to make better choices. So that was a really game changer for me. I'm not really into the science, but I just knew that when I was drinking this product and my brain started to just, you know, kind of light up more, um, my health started to light up more. So it was a huge, huge uh, shift in my health overall. Definitely. So tell people, Diane, like it's, it's great, um, you know, to hear your story and you know what it did to you kind of mentally and physiologically in your body. Yeah. Um, and some people don't still quite understand even what ketones are. Right. Um, can you just tell us, you know, I've spoken before about the ketogenic diet. Yes. Um, can you tell us how ketones are actually working um, in the body? Right. So when you think about the keto diet, uh, the ketogenic diet, you know, it's known that you make a decision to lower your intake of carbohydrates, your intake of sugars, right? And so then your body, uh, and again, I'll, I'll do it like as, as, you know, simple as possible. Our bodies run on two fuel sources, right? So they could either run on um, glucose, which is pretty much the norm um, because we are eating carbohydrates that turns to glucose. So there's your glucose fuel. Uh, and then the alternative, more superior fuel, um, which is not needing insulin is ketones. So when we do the ketogenic diet, when we make that decision, which um, Dr. Keenan has talked about previously, our body will start to lower the glucose because we're not eating the, the carbohydrates and our body has to, like it'll flip a switch and it'll say, well, I need a fuel glucose is no, is no longer available. So then your body miraculously as it is, um, will be creating ketones as a byproduct of fat metabolism. So it'll utilize fat for fuel. Uh, and there's so many books out there talking about, um, you know, the power of fat for fuel. The difference between the diet and the drink is you no longer have to, um, to get the benefits of the drink. You still can have a quinoa salad for lunch. You can still have you know, carrots um, as a snack, which is, you know, higher in, in glucose, higher in carbohydrates, your body allows it to, you can drink the product and your body says, wow, ketones are here, right? And glucose is here too. So the cool thing about it is, is it, it's all about dual fuel. So you're able to utilize both fuels and your body will make a decision what fuel it wants where. So the science um, and the researchers, me not being a researcher or a scientist, um, the science shows that the brain and the heart prefer ketones. Um, and so that's where a lot of the, um, the reasons why I was feeling so much more uh, mental clarity, uh, better with um, emotional well-being was because the brain was now utilizing a better fuel source. And I always like to look at it, uh, Dr. Keenan, like if I think of myself as a, as a Tesla, it's a like clean en uh, energy versus say a car that's you're putting um, diesel engine fuel in, right? Um, so it's just a fuel source. And so the cool thing about it is um, with the product, with exogenous ketones, uh, and ours are, you know, multi-patented and proven, the only bioidentical and all naturally fermented, is that it actually allows us to, um, the body to just utilize it just as it would if it was the diet. Well, that's, thanks so much, Diane. That's a great description, you know, for those that really aren't aware of these ketones. Um, now, one of the things that you mentioned is that it is a primary source for the brain and also the primary source for the heart. Mm -hmm. uh, but I know one of the questions that's on people's minds is what does it do for weight loss? You know, yes. so, you know, I'm here today to let us, so we can discuss the many options of where these can be beneficial mm -hmm. because most people know, you know, I encourage a whole foods approach. I encourage um, people to make the lifestyle changes that are necessary because we are what we eat. And I think we all would agree with that. Uh, but when it comes to weight loss, you know, there's the, those key specifics, you know, uh, because some people will want to think, okay, I can just take a shake. I don't have to do anything else, right? That's always the first thing that people think. But what the ketones are doing specifically, which I think is a, a physician, what really gets me engaged, which is one of the reasons why we know a ketogenic diet work, but exogenous ketones as well, they modify your insulin sensitivity, right? So this is what it comes down, especially beta hydroxybutyrate. So for those that are listening, listening, there's three types of ketones. So we've got beta hydroxybutyrate, acetoacetate, and acetone. So acetone is the one that gives you the smelly breath, and then the other two are kind of be more metabolically used. But when we look at that beta hydroxybutyrate and the insulin sensitivity, this is what can help you overcome um, your metabolic, you know, deficits that people have, right? And so in particularly, when we look at things like diabetics, it's that insulin sensitivity that's often the key problem. Um, and actually, you know, just reading recently, you know, there's a lot of debate, what comes first, weight gain 
or insulin problems. Mm -hmm. And we know now actually it's insulin sensitivity is the number one issue. And then often they're thinking the weight gain comes because of the insulin sensitivity. So people might be thinking, what is she discussing? But if we think of something like women that have PCOS, which you know we know ketones work and a ketogenic diet works so well, a lot of these women, they don't necessarily eat very poor diets, but they gain weight because the problem is with their insulin sensitivity. So I just hope you that are watching now that you'll remember that. So it's that insulin regulation is a key thing that we're trying to deal with here. And then the other thing that beta hydroxybutyrate or ketones impact is also your leptin and ghrelin. And maybe you can talk on that, Diane, what it's doing to our leptin and ghrelin. And that's, um, that's, I think, the key. So when people say, well, this is amazing, I can just drink this magic powder, right? This, if, there's no silver bullet, right? However, this is really as close to it as you can get. And the reason being, um, you know, one of our amazing specialists that have been uh, an expert in the field through our company um, is a naturopath actually based out of Toronto. And she talks about the leptin and ghrelin, right? And so when people you know, start the product. And, I, and I've, again, since I started um, feeling better five years ago, I've uh, been dedicated and fully um, focused on sharing this education. So I haven't had an opportunity to now see thousands of other people uh, directly and indirectly affected positively through the product. And so what we would see is I would say to people, and this will explain it, um, to bring it all back around, is when people say, well, what diet do I do? What do I need to buy when I try the product? And I say, don't do anything different except for add the drink. And so then what happens is they'll notice that their, uh, their habits will change, their, um, their snacking will change, and their um, portions will change. And then they'll come back around and say, well, how is this possible? Like I used to, and many people as well too, even with coffee, uh, but mostly like with sugar and different carbs, um, they'll say like, I'm not as hungry as I used to be. So when, I, when people are talking about fat loss, I always say fat loss you know, we're not even a fat loss product. We're not a weight loss product. We're simply um, a better fuel source for the brain. So fat loss, as you can tell with Denise, eight months later, uh, you know, she's lost over a hundred pounds. Um, you know, it, we're not, it, we're not even losing weight. We're losing fat. And what happens is the fat loss is a byproduct of everything you're gaining from ketones. So everything from, you know, appetite suppression and satiation and what those things are is because of the hunger hormone, which is the leptin and ghrelin. Um, so the balancing of those hormones simply by having a better fuel source present allows the ability for people to not be having that same relationship um, to food that they used to. And so the science around the, the leptin and ghrelin is, is profound. And that's why people are noticing um, that they're making better choices without even having to try because of what the brain, the hormones and all of those um, better well-oiled engine is doing in your body, the decisions around those things start to, chip, to shift. So even if someone was, and I've seen it, um, that, you know, they go through drive through every morning, maybe they go to McDonald's and they go, you know, in Canada, we've got fabulous Tim Hortons. I've had people who had for decades, you know, through their lifestyle, go through the drive through get their morning muffin or their morning, um, you know, egg sandwich and their coffee. And then not a few days later into adding the drink, they would call me and they would say, I literally went to the drive through and I ordered the coffee. And as I was leaving, I realized I didn't order my muffin. What's right. going on? And that's the magic, right? So ketones actually create compliance. You know, I almost call it like your mental health coach, where it's actually coaching you to have those changes in the relationship with certain things that were no longer serving you. So it really is um, an intuitive process almost, uh, where you don't have to be on a diet or a program to get the benefits of utilizing the drink. You're literally utilizing the drink and then a program sets itself up for you without you even having to, to be so um, hugely conscious of it. Yeah, and, and that's it. And it's, you know, it's that those many functions of what it's doing in the body, you know, and that's what gets me, you know, from a science standpoint, mm -hmm. you know, what it is doing to the brain, what it's doing to the heart, you know, uh, we, you know, we haven't discussed about mitochondria, right? Mm -hmm. You know, so we know that ketones from where they come from within our body are anti-inflammatory. You know, so this is a, a wonderful byproduct of especially, you know, the three breakdown products that we mentioned. So, you know, we talk, many people say, well, it's just another supplement. You know, it's, it's not a supplement. It is, um, like we say, it is a, a technology. It's a word that I, I find very interesting to use because it's allowing our body to shift what it's doing. Yeah. You know, when we, when we look at these exogenous ketones, like people need to know that you know, these are being used for deep water divers to prevent seizures. 
Um, mm -hmm. some, some children even are using top up of exogenous ketones uh, to suppress their seizures. So this is, you know, from a medical standpoint, this can be seen as also an additional source of medical management for many types of health issues. Um, and again, I know weight loss is number one, and I've seen many good benefits of exogenous ketones. But for some individuals, though, I will say it doesn't always give them, it's not that number one thing. And so why is that? Because we are all made differently. And I think it comes down to that insulin receptor. You know, uh, Diane and Denise said, you know, when we look at that insulin sensitivity, perhaps that's not the number one reason that you're having trouble with weight. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times we always think about food, but if your weight problem is based on your hormones, maybe it's based on estrogen, progesterone, you know, in midlife, or maybe you're hypothyroid. So if those are the issues, then they have to be settled as well, which is why for weight loss, you would agree, like a comprehensive assessment is important, right? Because we know there's not one tool that's going to help, but this is, I feel, a tool to have in the toolbox. Because for many individuals, like I know when I personally took, you know, I ketones, that the mental clarity that came with it, it was just wonderful. Because again, I wasn't trying it as a weight loss product. I was just trying to see what it did to stimulate my brain. Mm -hmm. So maybe well, let's talk about the brain a little bit more, because that's what I love to talk about. Yeah. So, um, you know, we spoke a little bit about um, a mood and mental clarity. So mm -hmm. um, when we look at the, the science as, as to what it's really doing, maybe talk a little bit, Diane, about how the brain uses sugar, sorry, ketones as its preferred substrate and how that changes with, with aging. Right, so, and again, I'm coming here from not from a medical um, background, but uh, with working with health practitioners and, you know, um, alliancing with um, different um, people in the medical field and also utilizing it for their patients, for their practice. Um, but most importantly, um, you know, uh, the company that we're with has a, a high level of um, medical professionals that have backed up their technology, their multi-patented formula because of who they are. And so what they have been noticing is, um, and there are amazing studies out there around ketones and brain health. Uh, and, and I'll also uh, share with you another really great resource is Dr. Mary Newport, uh, who um, just wrote the book a couple of years ago, The Complete Book of Ketones. Um, so that's a really great third party resource as well too. She's actually been with the company since the beginning as well too as an advocate for us. Um, utilizing the product in her practice in the, uh, the United States. And so what happens is, you know, um, a couple of things I, want, I, I wanted to touch on as well as ATP and oxygen efficiency. Um, so ketones are known to, um, to have almost upwards of like 30 to 38% more oxygen efficiency. And so when we're working with athletes, when we're working with, um, you know, people who are active, they'll notice that maybe their workout, their cycling, their... Um, their training is more positively impacted, that they're not maybe breathing as heavy, that they're finding that they're getting more out of their workout. And so also with going back to the aging brain, the studies around ketones are showing that when, uh, and this is like anywhere from 30 years, you know, our brain starts to age, you know, 30 years on, um, that they're noticing that the brain when aging or impaired um, can't uptake glucose properly or efficiently, but it, they're showing that ketones, um, the research around ketones is that it's able to 100% of the time uptake ketones without a problem, um, crossing the blood brain barrier. Um, you know, there's a lot of research um, that our formulators, our scientists, uh, Dr. Jacob Lowry and Dr. Ryan Wilson, um, uh, sorry, Dr. Ryan Lowry and Dr. Jacob Wilson are doing a lot of work um, with the NFL, with the NHL. They have uh, something called the um, Applied Performance Institute in South Florida, doing a lot of research behind the scenes on brain scans, um, cognition, performance, all dealing with the brain, uh, and then also working with the aging brain. So, I mean, and Dr. Keaton, I know that you may be able to even touch on the fact that in the, the space of, um, of brain health, they're now calling and or referencing uh, dementia and Alzheimer's as type three diabetes. So if you think of diabetes and that works with um, dealing with sugar and insulin resistance or the lack of insulin altogether, when you know professionals are now referencing um, you know dementia and Alzheimer's as type three diabetes, then you know that the role of insulin is playing something there. And when we know through the studies that ketones are insulin free energy, right? Then uh, there's a huge correlation on the solutions that can be applied to that, uh, whether it is impaired brain or aging brain. Yeah, and for me that's the most exciting part, right? So so when we talk about yes, like so this whole um, 
diabetes type three, which is Alzheimer's and dementia. We know that we see in the studies, uh, actually it's recommended now by the Canadian Diabetes Association that some, anyone that's over 65 should have a mini, like a mental status exam if you're over 65 and diabetic, because we know we need to start screening for dementia and memory loss earlier in diabetics. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, we know that diabetics, we think about the hardening of the arteries, we think about, you know, the blood vessels, but also it's what it's doing, how that sugar basically is collecting in the, in the brain, mm -hmm. you know, so from a research standpoint, um, when we know that we, if we can turn insulin off so that we can have some changes that are going on through there. And, you know, many times people will come in and they'll see me and, and, uh, you know, we start to talk about what, if they are having memory loss, what's going on again, comprehensive assessment to see what's there. But if they're pre-diabetic, I tell them, this is the time that you need to start making the changes mm -hmm. uh, because we know the earlier that you make the changes, the easier it's going to be uh, for it, for the brain to start to take up more of this ketones, whether they're a natural ketone source by following a ketogenic diet or exogenous ketones. Mm -hmm. so, from the research though, you know, a few years ago, I met with uh, Dr. Stephen Kinane, who's out of Sherbrooke, Quebec, and, mm -hmm. and Dr. Kinane is doing a lot of work. He was using, in the initial studies, using MCT oil. So a lot of people know this that follow me because it, it's something that I often recommend for those that are following a ketogenic diet, but I've also recommended it as well for people that are beginning to have some memory loss. So in his latest study, what he looked at over a six month period is by taking MCT oil, which is just a coconut oil, by taking that twice a day, the memory was improving. Mm -hmm. So we know that MCT oil gets formed into ketones mm -hmm. in the brain, essentially. So the studies now are looking at using specifically the exogenous ketones as a fuel source for the brain. You know, and so if we have some options there for individuals while we're awaiting for the trials, you know, we know for the most part that a lot of the drugs that are out there for Alzheimer's don't work. We know that Alzheimer's is a very scary condition for families. So then this can be an alternative because what are we giving them? We're giving them an alternate fuel. Essentially, this is what the shake powder that they would drink would be is an alternate fuel source for them. Um, and then the other thing from the mind that really when I started looking at the science, this was a few years ago, was looking at it for its impact on uh, head injury and concussion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we were speaking, speaking earlier about Daniel Amen, who um, I've spoken on before because he does a lot of work in uh, TBI or traumatic brain injury, and he does lots of head scans. And so, um, you know, we know that, um, you know, the football players and everything, they get a lot more uh, dementia because of the brain injuries. And there was a movie even that was put out about it, about the encephalopathy that happens after you get these repetitive hits to the head. And so I was looking at the impact that it can have on even concussion. Mm -hmm. And so, again, we're still looking for our doctor approved randomized controlled trials, right? Because that's how we do medicine. But the early research, when you look at the mice models, shows that when they knock these little mice on the head, but they give them exogenous ketones, you know, they do much better in the minis. And so, you know, we know that the research is pointing more toward this. How can we protect the brain? You know, a few years ago, my um, brother-in-law fell off a two-story building and he was knocked out uh, very briefly, but was had a very bad concussion. And prior to this, I had been looking at ketones because I, you know, I feel that there are so many more benefits beyond anything weight related. Mm -hmm. And so um, I got him, you know, to rest. I put him on exogenous ketones. I think we had him on it for five to 10 days he's done well, you know, and this is a person that had had concussions previously uh, in the past, but really for the, the impact of what he had done on him that day, I felt it was beneficial. So again, some of these stories, like this is just a report of me, but this is how I used it clinically. And I, and I will inform patients that we have many options when it comes to concussion and that using things like, um, like, you know, omega-3 fish oils, which we know are anti-inflammatory um, by resting the brain for a little bit, but by having access to exogenous ketones can be something that can help. They are looking at it as well. Like the research is looking at for those that have had massive strokes, right? Mm -hmm. So that's another research field. And I bring this up because I want people to know there are many uses of these types of products. 
So they're looking at when you have a stroke, your body no longer um, is using sugar very well as a fuel. It's the same thing with the concussion. So if we can give it a fuel source, because you know, you come to the hospital, we give you an IV. What is an IV? An IV is some liquid salt in line, you know, but if we could actually be giving people something that would fuel their brain to try to help it to fuel after they've had a stroke, I'm like, well, this is, you know, th this is something that can be much more beneficial than on a watch and wait. So, um, yeah, so some of the, those great impacts. And the, the last one, I guess I will talk about is when we look at our mood and anxiety. So I know both of you felt better on it. I know when I've taken ketones, I felt better, just like, again, when I'm following a, a a strict ketogenic diet, but when they look at why is this happening? So many individuals have heard about dopamine. Many individuals have heard about GABA. You know, it's one of those main neurotransmitters. And so this is another area where exogenous ketones are being researched and they've get it, done it in a lot of animal-based models. And they're looking at doing some further uh, trials with humans to say, what benefits are we getting the impact on mood? Um, the impact on things like mood stability. I know like from a ketogenic diet standpoint, we know that it's been used in small studies in bipolar disorder. And these are, this is, you know, they're putting this up against like very medication that can often have a lot of side effects. And then when we look at the many benefits of ketones and using it. So I really look forward to that next step of the research with these types of products, with this technology, to see how many mother more uses can we have to really try to impact uh, people's health. Yeah, and I also want to touch on as well too as you're talking because one of the things that I like to reference when it comes to utilizing ketones as a superior fuel source, again, diet independent, is I call it a bridge to better, right? So whenever you mentioned it also like it's a tool in the toolbox. So when we think about, and again, you also mentioned, so I'm just reminding myself all of the things that you mentioned that just brings it all together is that we are what we eat and we're also what we digest, right? So I know for myself, um, I was spending thousands and thousands of dollars literally from botanicals to supplements to organic whole foods. But when I was diagnosed with my naturopath that I had leaky gut, it didn't matter what I was putting in my body. So what happened for me is as I started to utilize ketones simply as a fuel source, then my ability, my body's ability to digest started to improve, right? So there's like improved digestion. Ketones don't cure leaky gut. That's not the, the point, but I'm saying that my, it was, so what I like to say is it's a bridge to better, but it almost is like uh, an ecosystem. So when you start to create a healthier ecosystem, right? Which is what you had mentioned as well, Dr. Keenan, in your practice is that you want to create like a whole foods, um, you know, uh, you want to implement a whole foods lifestyle. Um, we have to really go back and think about what are we eating every day, right? So even though we don't have all the extensive human clinical trials yet, but we do have the mice model trials, um, how we're acting, like, you know, even anecdotally, like how we're feeling, like hundreds of thousands of people who are seeing the results of utilizing our body and brain's better fuel, um, there's something to be said for that. And when I think about the other things that we are consuming during the day that we don't even know what is in them, um, I really, I, I, I go back to the fact that, and I'll speak to our bioidentical ketones, multi-patented bioidentical ketones, is we are gluten-free, vegan, kosher. We are also all natural. So we're the only all natural, um, multi-patented, naturally fermented product on the market. So what we're putting in our body is the purest form of ketones that we can have. Uh, and when I think about, you know, if I do go out for dinner, if I do buy something from the grocery store, I'm not always going to know what all is in it or what's sprayed on it. Um, so I have that sense of confidence knowing that um, not only do I feel amazing, not only do I find, you know, for me, kind of the opposite from Denise is I was, I, I kind of want to share this because it's important. Before ketones on the scale, I was 113 pounds. And since drinking ketones on the scale, I'm 121. So that's quite a difference in, um, you know, weight on the scale, but that, you know, I really, maybe if you wanted to touch on Dr. Keenan, muscle sparing and muscle preservation. So I literally went from frail to fit. And as a 43 year old, that to me is so important because I was dealing with anemia. I was dealing with a lot of, um, you know, with my compromised immunity, I was dealing with a lot of things where I was not feeling well and I was not feeling strong. So I was able to create a healthier ecosystem through utilizing a better fuel source um, and so for that, I'm, I'm super blessed, but my scale, you know, 
the way that we have a relationship to the scale in the past would be, wow, like you've gained weight on ketones. Ketones makes, make you gain weight. Not, not, not at all. It's the muscle sparing component, which is so important. Mm-hmm. And that's it. It's always, the, it's the health on the inside, not the health that people appear to see on the outside, yeah. which is why, you know, we do have so many, and I see a lot of thin metabolically unhealthy individuals uh, because mm-hmm. the muscle is not there. Yeah. Uh, and, and yes, you know, the, the, anything that's able, enabling us to build up our muscle and to maintain it. Um, because we know that that's one of the keys for me to longevity, because when we have greater muscle mass, we know strength is better. We know mobility is better with mobility comes less falls, but also greater mental capacity. So, um, it just comes kind of full circle. Um, but one of the words I, I hadn't heard, Diane, that word, the bridge to better, you know, and I, and I think that's it because so many of the things that we do in medicine, sometimes it can be really hard for individuals when they do a cold turkey approach to whatever it is. Yeah. You know, even look like um, there, we have smoking medications, right? So when there's a stop smoking pill, but when you start this pill, you don't stop smoking that day, your body builds into it over like a 10 day period, and then you stop smoking. So, you know, for some individuals, they do need that bridge, whatever it may be for them. Um, and, but I think the key thing that people need to remember as we get close to kind of wrapping up a little bit is that individuals have to take an overall assessment to their health. They have to look at, you know, what is going on? What are the gains I want to have? Know that there is no one answer to every problem that you have. Mm-hmm. Um, know that it is all about the journey and there's going to be little paths along the way and there's going to be lots of little turns along the way but that beginning is the hard step but also getting in touch with others when you are beginning is going to be the key because we know that with lifestyle change whatever it may be the long-term impact the long-term the sticking with it is a very difficult thing right so whatever um, folks are doing out there, we know getting around, um, getting some tools that are going to work for you. Like that is the number one. Know what are those tools, make a decision to stick with that and then start to move forward. Yeah. So um, with that, so Diane, um, you know, we've talked a lot about these exogenous ketones. People have asked me online what it is that, which ones that um, the company that you work with and so this is, um, if you want to talk a little bit then about uh, Prove It and um, kind of the approach to um, the use of exogenous ketones through the, the company. Right. Yeah. So I, um, so Prove It is the company that uh, Denise and I have partnered with uh, for the last several years. And Prove It themselves is the first company to market an exogenous ketone. So working with the University of South Florida and the, the research and the technology uh, through the scientists, through them, Prove It then um, created... A, a marketable product and that's who we have been working with and again uh, the studies and the patents um, also prove uh, that we are essentially the only bioidentical no synthetics no uh, fillers 100 um, percent bioavailable product on the market which is super important um, and again there's a really great tool that i can send a really great resource to explain everything from like the different lock and key um, so having the proper key for the body to recognize as uh, the ketones that it wants to utilize as a fuel. And again, uh, most importantly, understanding that it's diet independent. Um, so you don't need to be on a diet to get the benefits of the, the product, the technology in drinkable form. Uh, and also, again, we do encourage a healthy lifestyle. So whether you're paleo, gluten-free, um, vegan, carnivore, keto, uh, maybe you're on the Western you know, American uh, diet, we encourage to, once you're starting to utilize a product, those types of changes and enhancements that bridge to better is going to find itself, right? Uh, which I think is really great because it's not, uh, it's not as much of a struggle. Um, and I love working with people, Denise and I work with people through their journey. Um, and if anyone's interested in learning more or finding the right tools that we can help to, to just expand on this education today, um, I can send my information. You can email me um, at info at bebetterworld.com. So that's info at B-E-B-E-T-T-E-R world.com and Denise and I um, with the help of Dr. Keenan can answer any further questions on anything specific that may be related to your story because again we are all biologically unique um, so it's just about finding that right that right um, regime for you 
Yeah, so thanks so much, you know, for sharing. I know that we could all sit and talk for a lot longer. Uh, there haven't been too many questions online. Okay. Um, improving the immune system. So, um, but I hope people have found this helpful uh, in knowing that this is an alternate fuel source for the body. It has many medical applications and that we will post the links on how they can get further information about it as well. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Diane and Denise, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.